Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stamping A to Z. I'm Linda Gibbs. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada. So if you live in Canada and you're looking for a demonstrator, I'm here to help you. Um, I live in Edmonton, Alberta. So if you're close by, um, that works even better. But anywhere in Canada, I can help you out. I do this live every week on Wednesdays at noon. Um, I started it quite a while ago. We're on episode 106. Um, it was basically started to teach people how to use the stuff that's in their possession and also um, creative new ways to use all those products. Not just stamp sets, but all the little pieces and parts that you can have like water painters and all those things. So I've gone through stamping A to Z is kind of I went through A to Z. Now I've just continued on with um, whatever new comes out, uh, new techniques. Sometimes I go back and do some old ones, but in new ways with new products. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy these. If you do, please share. I also post them on YouTube once they're finished. So if your friends aren't big Facebook people, you can always find me on YouTube. Um, yeah, so today, uh, last week, I wasn't able to show you the new catalog because it was being released, I believe, the next day. So it has now been released. It is available to everyone. Um, it's also celebration time for those of you that don't know what celebration is. We had gone to a twice a year uh, program. I believe we've gone back to once a year. So this is going to be the only celebration period, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, now I'm second guessing myself. Anyways, um, it's running January and February. So till the end of February. However, products go once they're um, sold out, they're sold out and they don't bring back more. So uh, kind of the rule of thumb that we've always told people is if there's uh, things like paper, I don't think there's any dyes this year in the celebration catalog. It's mostly just paper and stamp sets. So the stamp sets are made in-house, so those ones don't go back ordered as quickly as the other stuff. So I think it's just paper. I'm trying to think now. I will um, show you quickly when I turn you around. Um, but yeah, so celebration is once a year, maybe. <laughs> January, February, with every purchase um, of $60 or more, you can earn free product um, out of that celebration catalog. So those things are things that you can only get for free, but with the purchase of other stuff out of either the mini catalog or the annual catalog, ugh, catalog how, um, however you want to do it. We also have a great promotion for joining my team right now. Um, it is one of the best deals that has been out in quite a while. I am <laughs> forgot to check the whole uh, details of it. I don't remember. I had seen it. It's like, so normally our kit is $130, $135 and you choose $165 worth of product. Any product. Um, if you live in Alberta, there's no tax and no shipping. If you live in other provinces, sometimes depending on your tax, you will get taxed that little bit of amount, but there's no shipping. So it's actually a really good deal. It's all just straight off the product. And now I'm not finding. Okay, there's also um, right now with Celebration, there is this cute mini die cut machine it is the mini one and it is available in boho blue. So it's still available in the white, but it's also available in the blue. So you have three options right now if you join. The first option is you can choose to get the machine, um, whether it be the white or the blue, um, which is an $86 value, plus you get to choose $225 worth of product um, for $175. So not the 135, but the 175. So you're, um, you're 
you're getting, it's, it's still a good deal if you do the math. I should have done the math for you. The other option is if you already have your machines or you don't want a machine, that's fine. You don't need to get a machine. You can pay the $135 and right now you will get $225 worth of products. So instead of the $165, you're getting $225, which is an extra $60. Pretty good deal if you ask me. All right. Um... So that's kind of, this is the mini celebration. If you see it online, our catalogs are all on my um, website, uh, lindagibbs.stampinup.net. I'm totally having a brain fart today. Um, so you can go in and look at the catalogs. If you want a physical copy of the catalog, you can always contact me and let me know. I can send it out to you. Or if you want to do a porch pickup, whatever. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to, last week I showed you a few sneak peeks from the new catalog. Today I'm going to focus specifically on one bundle, one suite in the catalog. Um, I wanted to kind of go through and show you how, actually this one lends itself perfectly for anybody, whether you're a beginner, a casual, or an avid crafter, you can kind of make it suit anyone. So it's a really good one. I wanted to show you one of each cards and kind of you can see how that progression goes. Um, maybe you're someone who's just past beginning and wants to take it a little bit further. Um, so I'm showing you step by step. I have like, they're completely different cards. They're not all the same cards. Maybe I should have made them all the same, but I wanted to show kind of things from all of the suite. So anyways, let me turn you around and we will get started the awkward spin around here. Make sure I don't hit any buttons while I'm at it. Okay. Make sure the volume is good. Yes. All right. Let me turn on the iPad so we can see comments. If you're watching, let me know that you're watching. It doesn't always tell me. Um, and I do have to, I don't know why. I don't know if it's my iPad. Maybe I should try on my computer one of these days. It, my comments don't stay rolling, so I always have to check. Anyways, hopefully you're watching, having a good day. This looks like a total mess. Um, that's okay. We are making a mess. I am a messy crafter. Do you guys have to clean up after every time you craft? I just, I... If I don't, I end up with this massive mess and then it's like so hard to clean up because you just feel like, oh my God, never ending. So this is the celebration catalog. I'll just do a quick, quick Pete. They're super cute owls, the carrots, like super, super, some papers that match one of the sets in the mini. This, um, the farm, if you love farm stuff, there's farm animals in the main, in the mini catalog. And then there's matching paper, some more stamps, beautiful paper again, that matches one of the sets in the mini. I love how they do that. Um, but it's too bad you can't get them <laughs> longer than what you can. So if you, um, want any of the sets and you want the matching paper, make sure you get on that. This is an awesome set of paper. I did kind of quickly show it last week. Um, I love the colors. It's a, it's free with $120. So it's a big pack of paper. I think it's a 48 sheets. Yeah. So it's a really big pack. So that is quickly the mini. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be focusing today mostly on this country floral lane suite. It is a stamp set and a punch. It also has two sets of paper. It has some really nice sequins and some ribbon that goes with. If you so this kind of shows you everything. If you ever want to order everything without um, any problems, you can always just order the whole suite and then you know you get everything that's on this page. Um, if you just want to get a better look at the stamp set that comes with it, you um, go to the next page and you'll see the bundle. And the bundle is always, if you get both, it's 10% off when you get them together. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out that I just learned yesterday and I'm a little mad at myself. 
Um, I did not go to the conference this year. It just kind of overlapped with a lot of stuff that was going on. And I purchased the online version and I don't know if I wasn't paying enough attention or if I missed it. So they have done something new in the catalog and in, in um, the celebration brochure this year. They have given us a choice just on some things. Now I can't remember which one it was in here. Um, as to whether you want cling or photopolymer. So, oh, which one was it? One of these is... Anyway, okay, it's not coming. I'll show you in here. Um, the easiest way to find them, and I just want, I want to point it out because I'm mad at myself because I just ordered the first one that was listed and it ended up being the cling stamp. So this is the perfect example, this fragrant, fragrant flowers. I ordered the cling, which is the rubber. And depending on what you like, that's great. I prefer the photopolymer. Um, these I find stamp better images, but for words, um, I like the photopolymer. So if you look here, there's a couple of stamp sets that show a C and a P. So that means they are available in both cling and photopolymer. So make sure if you're purchasing something that you look closely to see if it's available in both. There's only a few, it's not all of them, not yet. I think they're trying to decide kind of what people like more, which it might not be a very good um, decision maker if people don't know that it's available, like me. So if you look at the fragrant flowers, which is on page 21, sorry, I've kind of veered off, but I just wanted to make sure people know. Um, you can see, so I totally missed it here. It has a C and a P. It has two different numbers. It's the same price. It's just whatever your preference is for that set. So you can get it in the cling or the photopolymer. And another one that I really wish I knew is um, this one. So this is the Happy Labels. It has a new punch that goes with it. If I had known this came in photopolymer, I totally would have bought it in photopolymer. Hi, Yolande. Um, but yeah, that's my bad. I ended up getting it in cling. So I just have to deal with it. But um, just so that you all know and are aware, you have a choice. So whatever, some people prefer the cling. Some people prefer, I know, Marcy, I don't know if you're, I don't think you're here today. Um, she always said she's totally only buying photopolymer. So this is a great thing for you. I thought of you when I saw that. Okay, and then with my um, Avid Crafter card, I went and I kind of added in this bundle, which kind of goes really well. I, I had to get this one because I love it when it has words and stacked words that you can cut out. Um, I just like to be able to have that. So let's see this in person in person, <laughs> on screen, but closer up, I guess, I don't know. So here's the um, stamp set. It is photopolymer, so it is the clear stamp set. The stamp, or stamp, the punch um, goes with, now the way this stamp set is laid out is you've got the hearts, which are the two hearts, and then you, you've got the leaves separate. So you can't just stamp it all um, and then punch. You have to line it up, which some people might say, oh, I don't like that. But in some ways it's good because you can do one color with your hearts and one color with your leaves. And I will show you um, the easiest way to stamp those in order to be able to punch it out um, in one punch and waste less paper. Um, okay, so then these are the sequins. Now I want to point out that these look really, I don't know on screen, these look, look really bright when you see them, but they actually, once you put them on paper, they're actually quite mute. Like they kind of take on the color of the paper that they get put on. So they're not as crazy intense as what they look. Okay. You will see those also. So then there's the two packs of paper. So one is six by six and one is 12 by 12. Um, 
these are all just gingham um, papers. They are balmy blue, mint macaron, petal pink, and sweet sorbet. Sweet sorbet is one of the new in colors. Super pretty. And these 12 by 12 papers, um, you can see there's a large selection of different types of papers. There's two of these that fit the punch perfectly. So those of you who may be new and don't know, a lot of times they make our punches and dies. And with the des matching designer series paper, a lot of times you can cut out a lot of the stuff. So it fits perfectly and all you have to do is punch and use it. So you can get a whole bunch if you cut it into strips. So, I, well, you'll see it in a, as I'm making the card. Um, and then there's more muted sides. So you can see I've already cut up into this. I'm doing my club cards, which are Valentine's cards this month. So here's some pretty hearts and then a little more subdued and a busy floral. And again, a little more muted. <laughs> it's more floral. Again, and then here's the sheet to punch out. And then another. So this one has a nice variety of color um, schemes to play with. Okay, so that is the papers for that suite. Then we've got the two ribbons that it comes with. They come together as a pack, so you can't separate them. This one is nice, a nice neutral, and then you've got red. When would you not use red? Um, great ribbon and yeah, that is the, all the pieces and parts to the suite. Um, so the first card I'm going to make is for the beginner crafter. Four steps, um, super easy. You just need a couple colors. If you don't have the ink pads, you might have the the stamping spots if you do paper pumpkin or buy kits. Um, if you don't have those, I know when I started, I bought a lot of the markers because you can actually just color the stamps with the marker. And so a larger stamp like this, you think, well, it's gonna be dry by the time I get there. Yes, it'll dry, but that's why they invented the huff technique and you just <sighs> on your stamp to create some moisture and it'll re-moisturize it and then you can stamp it and it's all good to go. So those are your options as a beginner if you're looking to add color. Um, so if you were, the nice thing with the way this stamp set is broken apart is it's kind of a two-step stamp, um, but as a beginner, it's quite easy because of the photopolymer. I mean, it's not super easy. If you want it super easy, I would suggest you use a Stamparatus, but as a beginner, you probably won't have a Stamparatus. So um, it's just a matter of stamping and then looking. You can do either or. I usually suggest to do the darker of the two, but in this case, I'm using Mossy Meadow and Sweet Sorbet. So Mossy Meadow would be my darker one. I haven't tried um, doing it in this order just because um, this one had to me had more pieces and parts, so I did that one first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually don't have the dogs in the room. I didn't think anyone was gonna be coming. So you just wanna I usually let it sit on my paper not that long, but um for the three seconds so that it has time for the ink to soak in and then you get a good um mark of the stamp it absorbs into the paper. Now you can tell this one is a more distinctive, I think is what they call it. And so this is gonna be difficult <laughs> on camera. I usually like to have my head over top. So you basically just wanna come in and you can kind of see where the green is. I think I watched, I'm turned a little bit, but you can kind of see where the 
marks are and it looks pretty good even though I'm a little bit over you can't really tell that I made a mistake so it's quite forgiving so as a beginner it's nice to have things that are forgiving and don't forget that if you do make a mistake you can turn it over and try again two tries to every piece of paper right okay so now I've lost my other piece of paper hmm Okay, well, we'll just grab one moment, please. Oh, that's not straight. Is there like a pause button around here? Okay, so then I've got my stamped image. I just, this is just a scrap piece of paper. I keep these because they're perfect for sentiments. And I'm going to this is from the same set. You could put Happy Valentine's Day. I have just wanted to say, because then you could say on the inside, you could put I love you. Just wanted to say I love that we are friends or Happy Valentine's Day on the inside. So I'm going with, see, and I dropped the block in it. So I've got to make sure I don't rock it. Luckily, there's no paper there, so we're all good. And then we need some scissors. And I just did a very simple one cut, not even the, uh, like a, what do you call it? Oy, the arrow cut, the ribbon end. I don't know, there's a name for it. I'm sure there's a name for it. I just can't think of it. Why does my brain go dead every time I go live? Actually, it's just dead all the time. So, you know, it's all good. Nothing new. Nothing new here. Okay, so I've got my um, greeting. I've put some dimensionals on. I've got my piece of paper. I then took, these are um, the craft note cards and envelopes. They can be found in the annual catalog. It comes in a 20 pack and actually the package comes with a box that you can gift your cards in. So I'm just gonna put that on there if I can find my, oh, like, <laughs> I just noticed. I'm like, I'm gonna run out of snail. Not snail, stamp and seal. Okay, I'm just gonna use the plus because it's out and it's handy. Normally I obviously would not use the plus just to stick a piece of paper down. Because it's like super glue and then I've got my sentiment Let's put it down there and then we'll take some of those sequins and because I haven't got any of the blue or pink I'm going to use the gold And they are um, pre sticky, pre, uh, <laughs> um, self, no, we call it, they're adhesive backed, so if you want to say it. Okay, so we've got the gold. So you've got a very pretty simple card, very quick to make, um, but easy for a beginner or anyone. Okay, now if you wanted to just say you're still that beginner stamper and you have limited supplies, you could also just stamp on your envelope. No, I don't want green hearts. What am I doing? Why would I make my hearts green? red and you can just add some hearts make it match a little that's the nice thing with the photopolymer is you can see and you can see when you don't have it well inked so that is another good um, thing for 
anyone, but especially for beginners, it's nice to see what you're doing. So there, now I have my matching card and envelope. Okay, next up is going to be for the casual crafter. So to me, a casual crafter is one step up where there's a few more, well, not necessarily more steps than the um, beginner crafter, but you, I assume you have a few more things to work with. So here we've got the, um, the gingham um, six by six paper and the 12 by 12 that is part of the suite. I also have a piece of sweet sorbet. So assuming that you have a few more items to work with here. And then here's, so I've cut this, the 12 by 12 into strips. So you can see it fits perfectly. Um, you can cut out extra hearts um, if you want this side of it, once you're done with these bigger ones. So you can see it fits perfectly. And you always want to turn our punches over so you can see what you're punching and then well usually I'll do it into my hand but just for video's sake um, luckily it didn't fly up at you so now we've got our heart and we've got some leaves and we have an extra heart which I don't think I'm gonna use okay you know what I'm gonna take out I don't know if I have this before. I'm going to do a refill for the stamping seal in case someone's wondering how easy or how hard it is. So basically you just open it up. It gets gunky. I'm not going to lie. So you just want to make sure you pull off. So this is now empty. This piece is garbage or recycled depending on your city where you live. So you can see I have some extra, um, depending how you roll and take your stuff off, you can get, when it snaps back, it can get stuck on there. So just make sure to pull it off so you're not adding to the problem. You could clean it with some rubbing alcohol to take off all the gunk, which is probably getting to that point, but it's very, so you just pull it out of the sealed bag and you just want the two wheels here the two holes to line up with the holes on there and then it just hangs out and then you just put it back together so it's super simple easy peasy and then you've got your stamping seal ready to go and then i'm just going to so you gotta get it started and then And you've got your the start of your card and then assuming that this is not a total beginner crafter we assume they probably have dimensionals because you know dimensionals are very important in the world of card making there's something that should be in your kit early on I highly recommend having them there is I think it's still there um, they have um, a set of dimensionals that has the black and the white or me, no it's the black one I'm thinking of if you order the black one it comes in both sizes so it comes in this smaller size and the larger size so if you don't want to spend a lot but you want to have both you can get the black ones which look like Anyways, here there's a few of the little ones left. Um, so they're just, if you're working with darker cardstock, it's great also, but you can use it on anything. Oh, here's, here's a more full one. Um, yeah, so, and it's only, I think they're like, the white ones are 550 when it's, I don't know if it's the same for the black, but it's, it's similar. So it's not a huge um, cost to you. Now, I also, I really thought, oops, I was prepared for this and now I'm missing another way to take the paper. Okay. Let's just 
grab. Maybe this will do. And then I have my mint macaron, and I'm gonna. Oops, I don't want mint macaron. This one is moss meadow. So I want moss meadow, and I'm just gonna draw a stem. And then you're just gonna fussy cut a stem to make a flower out of your heart and leaves. And there we go. Okay, and then we will just put a wee bit of adhesive there. Oops, that's a little long. Might have to shorten that or stick it up higher. There we go. Okay. Nails <laughs> and it makes it a little difficult. Okay, and you can see this is flopping, that's okay. I will show you why in a second. And then leaf. So leaves, you could stick that down um, if you wanted to, but I'm not too worried. Um, I need another piece. I just want the heart. The big heart. So these, this is garbage. And then I, so I'm, t if I want it the same, you could keep it on that side. I want it to face the other way. And then I'm going to take the for you sweet sorbet since that's what the heart is and then once again you're gonna put oops some I've got butter fingers too put some dimensionals on there and once I decide kind of how to put this. I'm going to put one underneath here and it'll show until I put the heart down. But that's just to kind of keep my stem down. You don't have to, it's totally optional. And then you can add the for you. And then we have our card base here. It looks nice with the craft paper, I think. So then you just want to stick that down. Okay, and then if we take our ribbon here and tie a bow, I need to find my bow maker, it's missing. Missing in action, okay. There we go. And you can stick it down with a glue dot. Right. Got our leaves. And then if you want your ribbon to sit nicely, you can add, oops, more glue dots so that your ribbon sits where you want it to sit.
This is a great trick for ribbon if you want it to, if you try, especially even the, the actual bow part, if you want it to sit, like stick up in a certain way, you can just add a few dots and then it won't move and it looks pretty no matter what, even once you pull it out of the envelope. So now that we have the designer series paper with this one, in order to make our envelope match, the nice thing to do is to add a piece of designer series paper. So for this, you just take your glue, which my glue is almost out. And then you just wanna add your paper. If you haven't put all the way to the edge, you might want to add some along the edge so it doesn't, once you cut it, it's not sticking up on you. And then you just cut around it. your matching card and envelope. And again, you could stamp some hearts or do something to add on to that if you wanted to. You could add some sequins, some extra bling. Um, I don't know where my bling went. It's missing. Okay, on to the Avid Crafter and a lot more layers. So to me, Avid means, well, it can mean a few things. It could mean lots of layers. It could mean um, that you use a lot of different techniques or, because if you're doing techniques, it usually means that you have a fair amount of collection built up of items, um, of crafting tools that you might have that you can have access to. So, oh, well, I forgot, forgot the, um, to cut something out, actually I forgot a couple things, why don't I get at this, okay, so this is, I pre-punched this on a piece of thick white cardstock, um, it is my template for stamping, so I don't want to assume that you have a stamp apparatus. So this is a way of stamping um, effectively to use your punch, um, but not having to have a stamp apparatus. And of course, I did not give myself an extra piece of white paper. One moment, please. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, all right. Okay, we've got paper, we've got our template, and we will just put it over top of our paper. And then since it's photopolymer, you can see where you're headed and you can just stamp whatever. Um, I just realized for this card, I am not um, doing this whole thing. I just need some leaves. Hence the reason I only gave myself those. But if you were doing, if you wanted to stamp the whole thing and you needed the hearts and the leaves, you can stamp down and then you can take your leaves because they are all lined up and just do it that way. For me, I just need a couple sets of the leaves with mint macaron. And then I just want, um, I wonder if this will fit together. Nope. I want one heart, but just the outline of the heart. 
again this fits in the punch as well so you don't have to fussy cut okay so then all I'm gonna do oh so here's a good example of me being silly because I put it down so for those of you who haven't seen this trick before you want to take um, post-it note stick it at the top so that you can control your paper as you stick it down and then you can line it up and then you've got your heart and then you just have to peel off your post-it note whatever gets punched with it so that's a good way of getting your if you made a mistake like me and put it on the wrong side of the card okay and then I want one red heart so I'm just gonna stick that in there and then I need my leaves so There we go. So we've got some leaves. These are all just scrap. This is a leaf. And this is a leaf. Okay. Move that. So we've got two hearts. We've got some leaves. We've got. <laughs> Did I just punch it out? I thought I did pre stamped. Anyways, um, I'm going to stamp. A sprig here. This is all part of the stamp set. So lots of different colors. Um, oh, I did. Okay. So I've pre-cut one because this one doesn't have something to cut it with. And then you need to fussy cut. So you would fussy cut two. Obviously, I didn't want you to sit through two fussy cuts. If I really was making a lot of these and being lazy, I could use my fancy new scan and cut machine, but for one little sprig, I will fussy cut. There we go. Okay, so we've got two sprigs, hearts, lots of pieces and parts. Now I'm going to bring in even more pieces and parts. I have pre-cut, um, so this is the bundle lace that I added to it. It is the love for you. And it was specific, I didn't use the stamp set at all. You can use the stamp set along with the two cuts and then you don't have to do the little tiny cuts but I used the so much love all, all three pieces and so I cut out the larger of the pieces with the sweet sorbet and then I cut out the next set of pieces in white and then you just need to kind of they aren't the most um explicit <laughs> it's hard to tell kind of where it belongs I think I've got that backwards um but you can kind of fit it to see how it goes and then I just glue it down but maybe before I glue it I'm gonna so I ran the small pieces through here I did add the adhesive sheet um, just to make it easier to stick down because as you can see they are very small so to try and put the you'd need the fine tip glue pen um, to stick it down or you can I've shown different ways to um, get glue 
onto things like this. A little more messy. So there, and then this way I know which way it goes. So that's the so. That looks better. And we need the much. It's quiet. <laughs> of course, it's quiet on my end. It's just me not speaking. I should have like a live volume chat. Then it wouldn't be so quiet. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I do my card club and it can be pretty quiet. Everybody's concentrating on whatever. Okay. I should take that out first before peeling it, but that's okay. You can see how teeny tiny and delicate I think um, it is definitely much easier to stamp the words on here than to add the, this piece on but it's kind of cool to have the bubble background without and being able to stamp it without having to fussy cut you know my motto if you don't have to fussy cut then why fussy cut I love it when I make my life easy and not have to fussy cut. I should have done all three. Okay, so pretend that's done. I don't want to waste all your time. So we've cut it all up. I have these two pieces. Um, this one's from the 6x6. Six six, this one's from the 12x12. 12 12. Put them together. I cut out another piece of this bottom, but it doesn't really show, so you probably don't have to cut it out. Um, because I was hoping you would see the plaid behind it. Um, but maybe if I did vellum, you could see the plaid behind it, but then you'd want to change up your colors. So here are all my pieces and parts of my hearts. I just used dimensionals to assemble it. So here's, like I said, this is the pink from those. Now I need to find them so I can show you. Where are they? Where are my sequins? Sequins! Where are you? Where did they go? I really don't have that big of a workspace out here. I don't know how things keep disappearing. Oh, here they are. Okay. Found them. Alright. So this is a good example of how they look. Like, the blue looks really blue. The pink looks really pink. But I put the pink onto here and it kind of took on the petal pink look color. So it's much more subtle than um, what it looks on here. And the blue is the same thing. Like this looks like turquoise. But I put it on a card. Oh, here, I'll show you. This one has it. Yeah, so I put it on to Tranquil Tide and it looks much softer. Um, and I'm sure if I put it on balmy blue, it would look even softer. Let's see. Yeah, so it kind of takes on whatever color you put it on, which is kind of cool. Okay, so that is my Avid Crafter card with all its pieces and parts. I should have assembled some of it ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to bore you. Okay, let's I'll just show you quickly the three cards again. There's that one, there's this one, and there's this one. So beginner, casual, avid. And uh, step by step, it kind of I felt like it showed you kind of a good idea of the suite and all that it has. Um, 
it's a fun one. Valentine's is coming up next month. Oh my God, I can't believe how fast January is flying by. I feel like I need to stop time. But anyways, um, those are my cards for you. I'm hoping to be able to do a bit more of a um, walk through the catalog next week. Um, but I did remember that there is the cling and the photopolymer available um, and some of those stamp sets. So make sure you look to see if that is um, a choice you have. And I'll have lots more samples of all the different stuff. So you don't want to miss next week. And yeah, go take a look at the new catalogs. They have some great stuff in them. And have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you next week, hopefully. Talk to you later. You're cutting papers. All good. All right. See you next week. Bye.